show the, cam on. show the camera. Show the camera. Hang on. Show the camera. Show the camera. Hang on. Hang on. Show the camera. My hands are empty, by the way. Hang on. Oh my god. I hate show, that. Show. I actually looked at it in my hand before. See what you've you know when you said, you said, "Oh, who's got it?" I opened my hand and said, "Me." Before you squashed it back yeah. together, I saw it, it move. <laughs> welcome to another episode of Fooler. Today is such a sick episode. First of all, welcome back to all the subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you all so much for blowing the channel up. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, today is such a sick episode because we're gonna do a bent coin in the spectator's hands. But when I teach you the method just after the performance, you're gonna understand why this is so layered in deception that this, this is more than just a bent coin effect. It's a lot deeper rooted in their mind, so when they go away, they really, really believe that you bent the coin in their hand. And as a bonus kicker, well, you'll see what happens. Just play the video. Super quickly, competition time. If you want to win yourself a signed deck of Moonshine Vintage Elixirs designed by yours truly that are fully marked, then all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and get five of your friends subscribed too. Then just show me the proof on social media via Instagram or Facebook. And then next Thursday, in next week's episode of Fooler, I will choose a winner at random and send these free to you wherever you are in the world. Do you remember in school you used to play that game, this is a coin attempt, where someone would try and snatch a coin out your hand? Yeah. I'm going to try and do that now to see how good your reflexes are, okay? Ready? Yeah. Okay, so you go with your hand there. Ugh, we got it, we got it! <laughs> I got it, I totally got it. Shit. Okay, best, in this. best of three, best of three. Yeah, if you are not with us. Hold your hand straight, which you're in shot. This time, everyone at home is going to guess who's got it in which hand, okay? So you can see the coin. Let's see what you can see. There it is. It's a 10 pence piece. You guys have to guess at home who's got the coin, all right? So let's get the focus back on your face. Ready? Hold it flat in your hand. Oh, no, I'm scared. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three. I don't, I shouldn't count your eye. No. Oh! Squeeze tight. Ah, damn. Guess at home who's going to have it. Me or Kaylee? Well, it's totally not you because you just rubbed your hands together. No, I didn't. <laughs> Do you know earlier you squeezed it so tight though, didn't you? Yeah. Squeeze it as hard as you can, so I couldn't get in there if I tried. Ready? Mm -hmm. Squeeze it, ready? Yeah. Ah! If I squeeze this part of your hand, look, hold your left hand out. Yeah. Watch, relax your hands. Yeah. See your fingers, if I squeeze there. Oh. See your fingers going tight, right? <laughs> That's watch. so weird. Open them out, open them out. Watch, if I squeeze here, see how they go in? Oh. If I squeeze here, when you're squeezing tight already, watch. Ah! <laughs> Got it? Yeah. That one might have been too tight. Okay. Go ahead and open up your hand and take a look at the coin. My fingers are white, by the way. Bent the coin. I bent the coin. <laughs> <laughs> Show it to the camera. Oh my god, I totally bent the coin. Show it to the camera. Oh my god. Let's see a little focus. Like... Come back a little bit, look. <laughs> actually bent. It's like curved. In your hands. Oh my god. That was a coin that you grabbed before we began. And I totally it. squeezed it. Look at my hands. My hands. They're all like marked with my nails and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh what do you think god. of that? Let's get the camera back up. That's amazing. Do you enjoy How this? How did you do that? Did it feel crazy? That felt nuts. That didn't leave my hand. No. I literally... won both times. <laughs> You Obviously. squeeze it so tight that it became bent. Oh my god, that's super cool. I love that. That is awesome. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> All right, fooler? Yeah. 100% fooled? Well, how could you, yeah. How could you put that in my hand? I already had 10p in there. And you did that. <laughs> you tried to grab it and you didn't grab it. <laughs> um, entertainment? Love that. Yeah, so engaging. It's like a schoolyard bet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it's like, oh my god, I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to win it. And you yeah. really, really concentrate because you want to win it. That's the thing. You, the more you concentrate on that, the more you know it's impossible because... Yeah, because I had it in my hand the whole time. <laughs> and I didn't uh, even feel it was different. Like, it wasn't different at any point. Creativity? Oh, yeah. Five. 100%. That's five. <laughs> I love that. Bonus points? 
Oh, but I love a bone. I love a trick like this. I love a trick that's engaging. I have a go. Ooh, I do it. Four marks. And I don't know how to do it. It's really good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's really, really good. It wasn't a real tempi. No, because you got it. You found the tempi earlier. Hang on, Look. let me try and bend it back. Okay, I don't have that much strength. Do you know how to do it? Yes. Do you actually want to know how to do yeah, it? Yes, I want to know. Let's try it like this. Like, get in camera here, point okay. your hand out. Try it with your left hand, actually. Oh, no, I'm not so good it, with my left hand. Yeah, it gives me an advantage because I'm going to try and do it the hard way now. <laughs> yeah. Flat. Can we see at home? Okay, yeah. Put it upside down, though, right? Okay. So you got it here. Yeah. So on three, you're going to try it. Or whatever you want, you're going to try and get it. Don't don't squeeze out, ready? Okay, okay. I'm going to show you how it's done, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every yeah. time I fail, who's got it? Me. Right, this time squeeze it between your two hands. Like that, squash it. As hard as you can. Like this. I am. I push at the elbows. There's absolutely nothing. It just makes me look weird. Alright, stop. Yeah? Now open up your hand. And you flatten it back up. Show the, Hang on. Show the camera, show the camera. Hang on. Show the camera. Show the camera. Hang on, hang on. Show the camera. My hands are empty, by the way. Hang on. Oh my god. I hate show, that. Show. I actually looked at it in my hand before. See you you know when you said, you said, oh, who's got it? I opened my hand and said, me. Before you <laughs> squashed it back yeah. together, I saw it, it didn't move. <laughs> I think this one's too good to teach. Or at least teach you. So it's too annoying to not work out, though. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it, guys. <laughs> I will get this. I don't know. I'll get this. Do you have any idea at all? <laughs> Genuine. No. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, I'm gonna teach. Well, full marks then. Yeah, unless your ring is a coin. No, I can do it without my ring. Okay. No, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll get my ring off. I'll show you the method, and then everyone else at home. I'll show them the in-depth method. Okay. So, I put that coin in your hand. Yeah. I have this one here. What happens is... Sneaky little shit. As I drop down... <laughs> it's good, isn't it? As I drop down... Yeah. I hit your hand like this, and it'll cause this one to release. As I, I literally try and scoop this out of your hand, and because I, I let go of my fingers, it naturally falls out. And I can scoop that up. How the hell does that... How the hell do you do that? So watch. One more time. Ready? So try and try and make a fist. Okay. Oh, See? but it swapped. So now you're gonna try it on me. Oh, I can't do yes, this. Yes, you can. Pass me your hand, right? So curl, curl your fingers into a fist, mm -hmm. tight. Okay. Just pinch that like that. Mm -hmm. And now, just tr just don't think don't think about the coin in the back. Don't think about oh, it. Oh, I can't do it. Don't this. think about the coin in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Right, I've got the flat coin, but for everyone, don't I can't don't do this. think about it. Just just aim for that coin. Don't think about anything else. Okay. Okay. And I'll try and grab it. Oh God, I can't do just this. Just do it. And now, I totally did. I've got the bench coin. It works automatically. It works automatically. I honestly, <coughs> honestly thought that that was going to take me like 16 seconds. Nope, that was the very first go, uncut on camera. Got it. Boom, done. <laughs> this is super good. It's an old My car. God, this is like, this is more than that. But I know the method now, so. It's an old carnival trick where you'd swap two coin, one coin for another and the colours would change. That's super good because anyone think, can do that. It's so easy. It's literally super difficult. I literally just did that twice in, a, in one go. I haven't missed. There it goes. Sorry. Me cleaning you this week, you little piggy. <laughs> Want to try it one more time? Yeah. How do you do it with the other one then? Same way or? Same way. Put it in the back of your hand. Okay. And just aim for this coin. Okay. I dropped the other one. You I thought about it. Yeah, you didn't think Just aim for this coin. Don't think about anything else but this coin. Done. Done. That's it. That's literally it. What? Oh. Easiest coin bend of all time. Is that a good one? Love that. That is actually my favourite. Of ever? Ever. Yeah. I don't, I'm not a big fan of card tricks because I have, I see them a lot. A lot of magicians do them. Mm -hmm. it, dep it has to be really good to fool me and to like get me excited about it. But that. It's great. Isn't yeah. It? I love it with everyday objects and stuff. You've got it in your pocket. Just it's just Ben Coin to carry that with you. Amazing. Love it. <laughs> All right. I came up with that. I'll teach you guys in depth now, but there's not really a lot to it. 
I did it, for God's sake, so there's not a lot to it at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the method to bet in the coin. Literally, just get two uh, pliers at home, place a coin in them, and bend the coin. Now, what you can do, I've already bent this coin, but what you can do is place a cloth around the coin, and that will stop it from being jagged on the edges. But you literally just do this and bend the coin, or buy a coin bender specifically offline, but there's no need. I just do this, and you can just... You can just prepare 10, 20 coins. So that's how to bend the coin, and this is how to do the switch. Now, Brian Brushwood from Scam School published a video five years ago that shows this switch using a classic palm. So going from this position, I just don't like that. Um, and what I found is that it's easier to do it from a back clip. Now, this is the strangest thing to explain, but this is self-working. Just like you've seen with Kaylee, the coin you're gonna switch in, so in this case, the bent coin is going to go into back clip here and the regular coin is gonna go there. And all you need to do, you don't think about anything else other than trying to scoop this coin up, just grabbing it. And they're obviously gonna try and squeeze their hands closed, but there's no way their reactions can beat your reactions. It's just not humanly possible. So with this coin back clipped, I just make sure my hands are in line. And one, two, three, it just works automatically. There's no, there's no real slight to it. That's it. So the rest of it is just acting. So again, watch, the bent coin is here. Just think about this coin and nothing else, and and it'll switch. It's just it's just that simple. And I wish there was more to it. I wish there was more technique to it, but there isn't. It is it it is essentially a self working coin slide. The most important point of this is acting, so playing it up and making it feel real. For example, you can have them because the light shine on the coin is random anyway. You can have them open their hands and briefly peek at it, just like Kaylee did, and they won't see. So that takes them further down the rabbit hole of deception. Also that I think it's important that my hand seems empty the entire time. So when they're holding the regular coin, I've got my left hand with this coin in, which is just out of play. But this hand, I show it empty a lot and I'm holding the motions like this. After the first round, I come and put my hands behind my back like I'm casually just sort of doing this thing. You don't have to, but I do it behind my back because it feels more natural to my body motion. And I load the coin into my hand at that point. So they've seen my hand empty a lot right until the last moment. And then it's just about playing with this, the idea of, you know, pressing the tendons in their arm, which will actually make the fingers genuinely retract, or squeezing their arms shut to flatten the coin out. Anything you want, it really is up to you. But the longer and more deceptive you can make it, the better. So get to the point where you've switched in the bent coin, um, and have them, if you can, briefly look at it, or let them briefly look at it and say, actually, keep your hand closed, I don't want to go near it. Now they really think it's still the regular coin. If they really think that this coin is flat, and they've looked at it, and they can feel it, and they truly believe you didn't even steal it out, let alone switch, now you have a miracle. And it's better and more stronger than any signed coin bend that you can do, because they really believe this coin never, ever left their hand. And that... That is more important ever than having it signed. If they think they've just taken this coin out of their purse or wallet and it's never left their hand and they check that it was flat, nothing beats that. It's just that simple. So let me tell you really quickly why the layers of deception is so important in this coin bend and why this makes this coin bend feel like real magic opposed to other ones, including ones that are signed. No matter how smart or good you are at magic and no matter how much you believe your audience believes in you, Lay people still know that magicians can switch coins because as young kids when we play games and we hide coins behind our back and we do that game on tables where you try and flip the coin. In school, kids know, laymen know, adults know that you can switch coins and if you're a magician they especially know you're able to do that. No matter how much you discredit your audience, right? They'll go away and they'll, they can sometimes, or they will sometimes say, well, you know, you can switch coins. So what's important about this coin bend is, is, is the fact that they really have to believe that the coin never left their hand. There's, there has to be zero opportunity for you to switch it. Now, this game is hard enough. Everyone knows this is a hard game. When they play it with their friends at school, when you try it for real, it's hard to do it. Like It's hard to steal that coin out of the hand. There is zero way, unless they know of this switch thing, which I find there's, there's tons of magicians that don't know about this, and I've never met one layman that knows about this. When When... When it comes to the switch of this, they're not thinking that you're switching the coin. You can take this way, way deeper to the point where they can almost forget you even played the game because to them, it does not. It has nothing to do with the method because they they know how hard it is to steal that coin. 
it's in their mind it's impossible to switch it. So no matter how much you discredit your audience, even if you get sound bites for camera or you get quotes from them that say, oh yeah, he bent my coin, it was signed, the option for you switching it is still in their mind. When you remove that option, that's where the real magic exists. When they truly, really believe that you didn't switch the coin with a method like this, that's when you create real magic. And you can see the difference. I've performed different types of coin magic to Kaylee before. I've done pen through coins. I've done other coin bends where she knows, even as a magician's wife, or if she wasn't, that there's an opportunity for that coin to be switched. With something like this, where the whole focus is, is the coin not leaving their hand, and if it did leave their hand, it would only be for me to take it. No chance of switching it. That's when you create real moments of magic. You can see the difference in her reactions from past week's episode of The Fooler to, to something like this today, where it's, in her mind, real. Because you, you, get, you get rid of the options, you get rid of the excuses, you get rid of the methods, and that's where the real moments of magic lay. So that's where I believe that doing magic like this, performing these types of pieces of magic and layering the deception two, three, four times deeper than you, than you normally would, that's when you create the difference between magic and miracles in the eyes of your audience. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you want to win this signed deck of vintage elixir moonshines that are fully marked, designed by yours truly, then subscribe to the channel and get five of your friends to subscribe too. And then just send me the proof on social media via an inbox. And I will choose a winner at random in next Thursday's episode of Fooler. And then tomorrow, Friday, 22nd of April, the Lux trailer is released on this channel. Hit that notification bell because you'll be the very first to see the moment that it goes live. I'm excited. I'm going to be here. I'll be watching it all with you. So tune back in tomorrow and I'll see you all very soon.